It's Christmas! Merry Christmas to everyone and obviously happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, happy whatever it is you celebrate, I really don't mind. As long as you're having fun and you stay safe, that's all that matters. But as you can probably see, it looked like Christmas threw up on me right now. Got my hat on. Merry Christmas. I got Frosty and the Snow Gang about to drop the hottest mixtape you've ever heard with the track My Snowballs coming at you. Look out for that, 2020. <laughs> but yeah, so I haven't been out in a little while because it's been seriously cold. I mean, it's been below zero uh, at night time which is like minus 18 degrees Celsius. So yeah, below zero degrees Fahrenheit, minus 18 degrees Celsius, something like that. And I know, I know, one of you is about to be like, oh, minus 18, that's nothing. I go out in minus 18 in my underpants and come back three weeks later wearing a bearskin rug and have gained 15 pounds. Cool, you do you. But for me, that's pretty cold, and it was too cold for any of the gear I have, any of the stuff I have, so... Uh, yeah, but no, back, back again, and it's Christmas! And I want to do something different, and as you can probably tell by what I'm doing right now, and by the title of this video, normally this is where you'd see me string up my tarp or my shelter or whatever, but, like I say, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do a Walmart $20 not survival challenge because I've done the survival challenges before well I've done a survival challenge on my channel before where I had to have water and a way to start fire including the twenty dollars but because it is winter and it's cold I wanted to do a twenty dollar super shelter type deal so that's what I'm going to do I will now show you what I did with my twenty dollars so here's my bag of Walmart stiffs. In here I should have the receipt which as you can see the subtotal there $18.10 but this item here which was $2.50 got changed out so basically oh wait One of the most important parts. Six foot by eight foot, medium duty. Ozark Trail tarp. That's the first item. Which is gonna go on the back wall over there. My next item. I got two. Foil blankets. You'll see what I'm gonna do with them. I also got 50 feet of paracord. Uh, the best bet, I don't know if anyone knows this, if you're in Walmart, go to, and you look for paracord, don't go to the camping section. Go to the tools, equipment section, the hardware section. They tend to have this stuff, which I think is better than the stuff they have in the camping section. I don't know why. Tape. I got 22 yards of tape and I looked in the Dave Canterbury bushcraft books and they recommend bringing tape in your pack so it's bushcrafty and then I the item which I was talking about which was 250 was this lightweight clear well frosty uh, shower liner but upon further inspection it is only 71 inches long so my tarp is six foot by eight foot but because I'm six foot tall I can't use the six foot part of it lengthways I have to use that for the back so I needed something that would cover eight front in the foot eight foot in the front which I couldn't find originally but I was back at Walmart looking for something else and I got this 
10 foot by 20 foot uh, one mil thick plastic drop cloth so that is what I'm going to use instead this that shower liner was 250 this was three dollars so that brings the subtail so subtotal up to about 1850 which is 11 years before the start of the Civil War I know that because I've been trying trying to watch a PBS documentary about the Civil War but it's like Every time I try, I just fall asleep. That's because, I, and not because the Civil War is boring. It's actually very interesting, but uh, the way it's laid out is, you know, everything's like black and white photographs, and someone just talking like, "Yes, it's okay," and you know, in 1862, everybody fell asleep. Everybody fell asleep. Yes, everybody fell asleep. Well, if everybody fell asleep. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. That is my plan. Yeah, let me show you what I plan to do with my shelter. Oh, and these weren't included in the $20, but they were only five, so I bought these. Because when I'm out here, I'm on my knees a lot, and... <sighs> uh, I heard it too, you perverts. Um, there's no good way, yeah, I'm, I find myself on my knees a lot and my knees end up aching when I get back, so, yeah, little knee protectors. Right, I've got my knee protectors on, got my tarp all laid out, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a foil blanket, like so. which I absolutely hate these things. And I'm going to ingeniously not tape it to the inside of my tarp. My tarp. There as much as I can. Make sure it's all actually unfolded, whatever. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is cold on my hands. That looks alright. Come on, tape. Oh, yes. Got a little tab on there. Don't want that bit with the tab. So now I've just lost the end. Great stuff, good start. Come on. Lord. And now the tape doesn't want to come out. In one piece, whatever. Oh, you absolute. Right, anyway, the prop department I'm gonna get talking to. I'm gonna take that corner in there, like that. Come on, you SOB. You have one job. Tape. At least I know you're sticky, but jeez, and that. Lord, give me strength. Where is it? It's because you're all, are you all the way back here. You are, aren't you? Oh god. And today on Bushcraft Nightmares.
We got it. Do we? We've got something. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. What we'll else? We have more tape stuck to me than to my goddamn. Whoa, you steady on blanket. You. You wait your turn. Alright, let's. I don't know if this is in shot and I apologize. Giving you the realness. Alright, let me. Yeah. So a lot of that probably wasn't in shot, but that's okay. You only need to see it to know how to do it. That's the whole point of YouTube. But whatever. Ooh. Shiny. I don't want the tape to give. In fact, why don't? Sometimes it would be too easy. Too easy. Why? Why do something simple when you can make it difficult? Oh, what on earth? This this tape. This tape. To say we're gonna we're gonna fire whoever's in charge of props because this production is becoming a joke. What is, I don't, who and how and what and why, it is unclear to me. I've got more tape on my, on my leg. We, I, I think we've passed it. I think, I think we've made it past the hurdle. Right, I'm gonna just... Shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch. But... Basically gonna stick this down. All over. Steady on corner. Obviously, the floor of this shelter, as we can see, would be a windy day. Problem corner is is all sorted or potentially all sorted. Where on all that is holy there'll be no Christmas for you tape no Christmas do you hear me do you hear me
right. Now I'm just going to go around and duct tape this all, or tape this all down. Just. Right, as you can see, got it all taped down to the top. I brought two of the reflective blankets uh, because I thought I'd need two, but I think that'll be enough. I think that covers enough area. So now I think what I'm going to do is tie it off to the tree. As you can see, got my tarp set up. Basically all I did was two loops on either end with a Canadian jam knot. So two arbor knots and then I put a stop knot in there to stop them slipping. And then you probably saw me uh, making little wooden stakes to stake out the back. Fairly simple. Now what I'm gonna do is make it into a super shelter with this. Now this is fairly massive so I have no idea how it's going to work. My plan is to tape it on the top on the back side and then bring it down and around and tape it on the side. Originally I thought about doing you know just the front and building like like a fire reflector building walls on the sides but can anyone guess what today is well depending on when you're watching this it is any other day apart from the day I filmed it but today is actually <laughs> the winter solstice which means I'm fighting the uh, elements the sunlight so I also um, got up later than I wanted. Well, I didn't. I got up at five, but getting up at five on a Saturday, it was kind of hard to to drag myself away from snuggling on the couch with the dogs. But I did it. I did it. And I'm glad I did, because I'm out here, and it feels amazing. Always nice to be outside. So let's see. I will pick that up, how big this is. Oh, she's big. Oh, she's big. Oh, she's a big one. So much plastic.
sure it's stretched out enough. Anywhere close to the middle? I have no idea. Have a look at what we've got going on there. Plenty. Let's tape it and see. Oakley Doakley, let's let's see what we're working with, shall we? If I could do it like that. Just going to measure it, see if I've got enough going down the back sides as well. shorter on that side and I'll show you in a second. Ridiculous. No, I, th I think I should be all right here. Let me. Let's do this. Move the camera. I'll show you. So you see, I got got just enough on that side, and just enough on that side. And what I've done is, as you can see what I've done is brought it, pull it over like that, brought it up and around and then basically gonna fold it in on itself like that. So what I'll do is take this pesky tape and hopefully I can just stick it like that, which will need reinforcing. Well, that seems to work right now. And obviously with this bottom corner, what I can do is take that as tight as I want it. Stick it over 
my uh, wood stake at the back. Now just take it, touch it up like that. Stick it down. All very bushcrafty stuff, I guess. Well, here it is. Not bad. I don't know if I've done Moors Kehansky proud with this taped up monstrosity. Hopefully, may he rest in peace. But you know, it's it's a super shelter in principle. It only took less than an hour to put up, and it only costs twenty dollars in materials. Obviously, it's not a long-term solution, but I mean, it's all right. Now, this is the point at which, in a normal situation, you would make a pine bough bed to put inside it. But I am not going to do that because I wanted to go somewhere a little different today. I wanted to get some miles under my foot, come check out some different scenery. I am on public land and I just don't want to do that. Now I have used pine boughs before to make a bed and I might do it again but sometimes it just gives me that uneasy feeling. This doesn't belong to me, it belongs to everyone and I don't have to do that so I brought my sleeping pad and that's what I'm going to use to sleep on. But if you want to look up a pine bough bed if you don't know what it is type pine bow bed into YouTube search and there's loads of videos showing you how to do it but considering how cold it's been, how cold it is and yeah the ground is frozen solid then I would need a nice deep bed which would mean taking a lot of bows and it's not like there isn't a lot of bows around to do it but again if sometimes if I don't if you don't have to do that and then I'm not going to. That's, um, that's final. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I don't have to do it right now, so I'm not going to. There's no point in, you know, hacking some limbs off some trees for the sake of this. There's pl like I say, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that will show you how to do it. So, look it up. But yeah, I mean, I think that's going to, this little palace, Bushcraft Palace, Bushcraft Christmas Palace is going to keep me nice and toasty. We'll see. We'll see. What I've got to do now, obviously, build a uh, fire reflector out front and get some firewood. Yeah, so that's the plan. Let's do it. So that's where I want my fire. Well, one full step away, so I can fire reflector about here. Okay.
think this. going in but it's hard work. Something solid right there. I need it to be pretty right now. Just need it to work. Yeah. Right, that's gonna have to do because I've got maybe I've got what forty five minutes, half an hour till the sun goes down by the Finger calculation, I don't have any firewood yet, so that's what I gotta go do. Oh. Oh. Putting the knee pads to good use. A big knot in it. That'll do. Oh. Ho, ho.
as you can see gathered up some firewood look we got pencil lead pencil thumb wrist split down and I am going to light the fire because I'm starving I haven't eaten all day and I'm hungry and the, I'm gonna lose light soon so I might as well do it now right so you can see it so let's get to it these knee pads are a godsend I tell you I tell you let's get a little little bass going little bass boom 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 that's not what we meant by a little bass talking to myself now you probably saw earlier that I went and got this dry grass from the edge of the lake so I figured I'd give that a try see how that goes if it'll take a spark it still feels pretty malleable which would indicate that it's probably still a little a little green but we'll see we'll see if it takes a spark and if we can use that to light the fire be great this time I'm pretty sure the the spine of my knife is rounded so been using the striker that came with the fire steel and touch touch wood not had any problems so let's see if this works I already know the smoke is gonna blow straight at the camera so I apologize in advance but let's see needs to catch it, it's falling through. Oh, it went for a little bit then. be the issue well maybe not let's take a little bit out put you to one side but it's gonna go Seems like it's going. It looks as though it's going. I'd say that was a success. I'm not tooting my own horn. Oh, 
steady. What is it Joe says? Don't be, don't be one sticking it. Well, that's what I'm doing. Oh no! Christ, the knife. You know, I just realized that the Bushcraft Christmas Shelter Super Bushcraft Christmas Super Shelter is missing one thing. Much better. Everybody knows you can't have Christmas without the traditional West Highland Terrier wearing a pink hat and tutu. <laughs> Which I saw. I was in Walmart and I saw it in the Christmas decoration section and I just I had to have it. I had to have it. You can't you can't look at it. Look at it. Thing of beauty. I mean who doesn't want that on their Christmas tree? And I almost forgot. Little indoor outdoor thermometer. Ninety seven cents. Walmart can't beat it. Again, wasn't part of the twenty dollars, but I figured I'd get it. As you can probably see right now, it's saying just below forty, which is actually quite warm. It doesn't feel that warm. Um, it has been in my bag though. I don't know if that make a difference. Uh, so I'm going to leave it out here, and then obviously I'll take it in the shelter with me. It's supposed to get down to like 20 degrees tonight so we'll see what it's like inside the shelter well you might be wondering at this stage what's for dinner and considering it's Christmas I thought I'd bring a turkey burger because you have turkey for Christmas but this one is a cheddar cranberry and jalapeno turkey burger and I also bought Brussels sprouts Hello. Some people probably hate Brussels sprouts. And I have a feeling they're going to take forever to cook, so I must stick them on anyway. Probably eat my burger before they get done, but let's I've already put a little bit of oil on them. Gonna wrap them up good. Stick them right on there. Now I did manage to find two rocks. But I don't know how well. I'm going to be able to get them lined up. To be able to actually cook on them. Hot. Hot. Not very good cold at all. I don't want to steal too many from. Well. 
a lot of smoke. Okay, whatever. It's going to be very precarious. And that's okay. We might squish this burger down a little bit. Perfecto. Well, here we go. Little cheddar, jalapeno and cranberry turkey burger with a side of Brussels sprouts. And I also have, I know again with the blue top, but one of you in the comments recommended the coconut ranch. And I hadn't tried it and I saw it in the supermarket so I got it. So I can't remember who that was, but thank you. I might, I'll put your name down here. And I'll give this bad boy a little a little squirt I cut the voila I might put a little bit on the side for me Brussels sprouts Brussels sprouts but yeah I cut the turkey burger in half because obviously it's turkey I don't want salmon vanilla, so... And I know it's salmonella. Before anyone says anything. Oh man. No sprouts. Are done. Really well. I thought they'd need way longer than that. Coconut ranch. It's spicy. I probably it. Yeah, it's real spicy. That's whoa. That's way spicier than the other one. Probably should have tested that before I put so much on my burger. It's good though. It's good though, right? The Christmas goose. No, it's not really. Christmas burger. Happy holidays, Hanukkah, Christmas, whatever it is. Cheers, guys. You know, the crazy thing is in England Christmas is is a big deal because not because of the presents but because we don't have Thanksgiving so that's when everyone gets together and has the dinner it's the first time throughout the year really or towards the end of the year where everyone does that whereas my experience in the US so far is it's still enjoyable it's still fun but because of Thanksgiving it's not Everyone's already seen each other, so it's not, it's not quite the same, so. So yeah, Christmas is really, uh, it's a big deal, man, and it's important to me. All the holidays, or just this time of year, you know what I mean, I'm not getting into all the politics of Christmas, holidays, all that, but, yeah, it's, Very surreal sat here looking at that because, you know, 
I would give anything to be with my family. Don't get me wrong, I could have gone home, but it's just very expensive to fly at Christmas. And then I look at something like that and I, you know, I, it makes me think about, you know, why I, why I made that decision to, to move here and to live here and why I ultimately wanted to stay here and I sacrificed all these times and all those moments with my own family. <laughs> and it's a weird feeling because you gave up those you know you gave it up to for moments like this but it's moments like this when I wish they were with me the most so <laughs> I'm sorry, but if they're watching, which I know some of them will be, I just, I love you all and I wish you were here with me right now, oh, I wish I was with you, I hope one day you can all come and experience this for yourself. And thank you to everyone who has um, been watching my videos and uh, sorry <clears throat> everyone who's been watching my videos and everyone who's subscribed and everyone who is supporting me in this endeavor family friends and people I don't know it really is an amazing feeling and it's it, I feel very very lucky and I didn't really think that it would ever happen. I mean, so thank you to all of you. And I hope whatever you're doing and whoever you're with, you're having a good time. I don't know if you can read that been hung up for a while it says 20 right now that's what it's reading anyway maybe just a little above 20 so we'll see what happens when I put it inside the shelter with the fire going I don't know if you can see that, maybe, there we go, saying it's about 65 in here right now, fire's just going nicely, nice long fire going outside, I'll tell you what, it feels amazing, it feels so nice and warm and cosy, it's almost too hot. So, yeah, just relaxing, gonna chill out, go to sleep in a little bit, and I'll probably get with you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. Um, I actually slept great. I, was, I don't think I've slept that good in the winter in a long time. Well, I mean, I sort of dozed off about nine o'clock and then woke up at five. 
I didn't even have to get up to pee, which isn't like me at all. And then I just sort of tossed and turned until seven, which is the time now. Uh, yeah, first time in a super shelter, and the shelter actually only cost fifteen dollars in the end. Thinking about it, because I only used one of the foil blankets, and they're about three three dollars each. So yeah, it's only it's only what well, yeah fifteen dollars. Fifteen fifty. It was nice and toasty warm when the fire was going. Uh, I did the fire reflector did go up in flames at one point, so I had to get out and douse it in snow. But yeah, it was nice and cozy. I don't know what my uh, thermometer is saying now. Yeah, the moment is, it's still like a little bit warmer in here than it is outside, I guess. But so yeah, only fifteen bucks. Um, super nice and warm. One of the only drawbacks to this version is the height. You know, a normal super shell super shelter is higher. So number one, you have a seat to sit on, and number two, you catch more of the heat because obviously heat rises and a lot of heat from the fire just goes up and over this but apart from that my lens is fogging because it's there's a lot of condensation in here so that's the other thing but yeah I'm happy but I hope you guys enjoyed this please give it a like please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on the next one take it easy oh um, Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you soon.